Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is LaToya Ebony. I do a lot of natural hair care, fashion, and lifestyle vlogs on this channel. So take a look around, subscribe. Okay, you probably wanna stay for this. Summertime is here and we are bringing the videos. I just wanna take some time to give some shine to those of you who have chosen to purchase from my store. I am thoroughly enjoying the images you have shared with me. And if you are interested in purchasing something from my store, go to shop.latoyaebony.com. I will leave the link down below. I wanna show you all how I went from my hair looking like this to looking like this. Okay, we've got the wash and go going. And I want to make this a two part not really a series, it's just a two-parter because I really want to fully explain how I got to this point. My hair needs to be clarified, my scalp needs to be treated before I can get to any of the styling aspects of this look. I think it's so important to talk about all of the steps because washing goes literally half of the style is the wash and I don't want to gloss over it because my scalp when I first started was in such a state of need. I don't know if you guys remember from my previous vlog or video on African threading, I ended up washing my hair in the shower with the rubber threading still in. When I took it out, the hair was defined. However, there was some locking, not really locking, but it looked like little locks at the end of the hair. And then I kind of led in to my birthday wearing it in a little bit of a side ponytail bun situation and during my birthday which is the reason why i didn't fully go out and style my hair my husband had surprised me he told me like a few days earlier i think two days earlier because he knew my hair was going to be a situation anyway he surprised me with a salt float it's called uh, float therapy in which there's pounds and pounds of epsom salt in this pool basically pool room uh, and water and they give you like a plastic cap and things to put over your hair but there was a hole in my bag and it got all over my scalp all over my hair and i only had 20 minutes after the float therapy to do anything with my hair they had shampoo there they had conditioner there so i quickly washed the ends of my hair and then i went about the rest of my birthday celebrating so of course you can imagine that my scalp was in a terrible condition especially considering i was eating a bunch of food i was drinking alcohol with all the sugars in it you guys i have a full out birthday vlog if you have not seen that vlog we fighting okay <laughs> no it's a great vlog it's my birthday shout out to those of you who watch all of my videos and who get that notification turn on your notification bells because we're traveling this summer we've been traveling since vancouver you guys so anyway my scalp was in a state of trauma okay my scalp was completely white my seborrheic dermatitis was flaring up because of the food i was eating and then the salt kind of doubled down on it so my hair was incredibly dry from using the melanin hair care twist elongating butter on my hair and then i followed up with a bread beauty so i just need honestly at this point a good clarification of my scalp as well as my hair so to treat my scalp, we're going with the good old faithful Nizerol. To treat my hair, to clarify it and get all the buildup off of it, we're going with the good old Kinky Curly Come Clean. I thought about doing a full out deep condition of my hair, but the only deep conditioner I have has a really heavy shea butter content in it and I'm already using something that's a little heavier. So this is the TPH Make It Rain Hydration Rich Conditioner. I think normally when I do a clarification, I want to like follow up with that deep conditioner but this is pretty good on its own so I'm gonna try it out and just see if I can do without your girl loves using product up okay over here so with part one I'm just gonna show you guys how I washed my hair and got it to 
be good enough <laughs> in a state to be ready to style, basically. I hope I said that sentence right. Let's just get in the shower, y'all. Hey loves, we are back in the shower and it is time. It is time for me to wash this hair. More than wash, clarify. So I've got my clips in tow. I've got the products that I'm going to use. I'm just going to kind of lightly dampen my hair so that I can detangle. Now this is something new that I've been doing with washing in sections. I used to wash my hair completely loose. Now that my hair is longer, I like to wash it in sections. And I used to dry detangle my hair with my fingers, but I found it actually to be more effective to dampen my hair a little bit and take advantage of some of that product that's already on my hair. So this has... <laughs> This has helped my wash process so much. I'm able to get out so many more tangles and I find that it's a bit, maybe not gentler than finger detangling, but it's definitely more thorough. So once my hair is detangled, I clip it all up into those four sections and then I like to start with my medicated shampoo. Now with this, because it is medicated, it's meant for the scalp and skin. So I like to focus mainly on my scalp I will clip that section right up and then move on to the next, giving the shampoo some time to marinate and do its magic. Once it's been sitting in my hair for about five minutes, I like to just rub on my scalp with the pads of my fingers and use the water to rinse it out. And then I'm moving on to my clarifying shampoo. Now this is the shampoo that I'm gonna use to really cleanse the strands of my hair. I'm also getting my scalp, of course, but this is what's gonna get rid of all of that buildup. And yes, your hair does feel quote unquote stripped but really it really is just the natural texture of your hair without all of the butters and the oils and the product that's normally sitting on it even after you're done washing your hair so a clarifier really does take off all of that product so it does take some getting used to but it's 100 worth it especially by the second wash So as you can see, I am going through and rinsing each section out, really making sure to thoroughly get that product off of the scalp and the hair. And I like to keep the hair as stretched as possible, which is why you see me rolling my hair and clipping it up because it keeps that length. It just makes detangling so much easier. And now that I am done with all four sections, I am moving on to the conditioner. <laughs> uh, this conditioner is a nice consistency. It's thicker than some of the other conditioners I've used over my years of figuring out my natural hair care routine and what works with me or works for me. But it's also not quite as thick as some of those heavier butter deep conditioners. Looking back, I think that I could have benefited from doing a deep conditioning treatment with my hair steamer. However, I was running out of time, and so I worked with the time that I had, but as you can see, I clipped my hair up, I'm gonna shave, groom, come back, and so that was about 10 minutes that I left that conditioner on my hair. Feel free to leave yours on for longer. And of course, I am using gravity, and the shower water and my comb to detangle my hair and let me tell you getting the ends is very easy but getting those roots always got to take your time always take your time and if you need add more water and product but i do find that after clarification it is a little bit more difficult and challenging for me to detangle my hair because it doesn't have all of the oils and butters and conditioners on my hair that typically help even after I'm done cleansing my hair. The clarifier, it really does strip everything away, so it's best to try to be as patient as you can be and really use that shower water. <laughs> 
So I am finishing up and that is my full on clarifying routine minus a deep conditioner. So now, now that we have, oh, by the way, I want to let y'all know, I'm going I'm to link what I'm wearing down below. This is super old. You can't get this anymore. It's from Hot Miami Styles. This is from Zara. And yes, I do have a fashion haul coming up. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bells, okay? So that you can see all of the goodies because I've been shopping, okay? <laughs> so in part two you're gonna see how i style this wash and go if this video goes out on a monday it will be thursday part two if it goes on a thursday monday will be part two and i'm very excited to show you guys how i got this hairstyle i just wanted to really focus on the wash aspect of this because clarification clarifying your hair is so important especially if you're going to be using heavier products like many of us type 4 naturals use the butters the oils <laughs> even if you're only using gels and mousses and you're like detoxing your hair like eventually you are going to need to clarify your hair so it's so important my hair definitely feels drier than normal with clarification so i think i could have followed up with a deep conditioner I don't feel like it was 100% necessary for me to get this style. So I will see you on a Monday or Thursday. Go ahead, subscribe, leave a comment down below, like if you like this video. And um, I'll see you next time, okay? I'm gonna leave my last hair tutorial here. If you are like jonesing for a wash and go video, I have one here that was pretty simple to get. I will list it down below. And then under here, I'm going to list my birthday vlog if you haven't seen that. All right, I'll see you guys in a few days. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la la.